Sean was taking salvia for the first time and was understandably a bit nervous. Tim Kendall tried to put him at ease while he conducted some simple coordination tests. Of course, if you're very drunk, you might find this hard. Okay. And as you can see, he just comes straight back to normal. Yeah? Okay, would you like to try some now? Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. We knew that the initial impact of the plant was the strongest, but what effect would it have on Sean? And then before you finish sucking, take your finger off the hole. That's it. Excellent. Okay. Okay. How are you feeling? <clears throat> I'm feeling quite good. Suddenly disorientated. Okay. Do you think you'll be able to stand up? <laughs> right, I'm funny that that's a very funny question. Okay. And that, that I might be able to, but I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see if you can. That is so yeah. funny. Okay, let's see if you can stand up. <laughs> right. Okay. right, it's all right. Okay. okay. Right, now I'm going to remember the test we did before. I'm going to ask you to do the same one. Okay, if you can hold your arms out in front of you, okay, and close your eyes, keep your eyes closed, and I'm going to just nudge your arms, and I want you to push them back to where they were before. And as you can see, that's perfectly fine. A few moments later, Sean was able to talk. At the moment, I'm feeling like, um, well, like a lot of things are, f are funny. It's like, there's a, a real... Um, Try and say what's like, funny. Yeah. Uh, well, you know that nothing's actually humorous, but you feel extremely good. You're, you're feeling, um, I'm feeling very um, sort of mellow. I am getting visual distortion in the sense that certain things sometimes seem to be um, very liquid and it could be a long way away. The floor is quite a good way to get the visual effect. If I look at the floor. If now. I look at the floor, yeah. Do you? Is it still now? Yeah, it's um, it's because of the panelling. There's a lot of um, the crisscrosses of the pa of the panelling are looking sort of. Uh, uh, there's a little visual trick going on where it looks like they could all be diamond shapes and going down for, right. f well, for bloody miles. Um, there's a piece of floor uh, which is sort of fairly dirty and um, that could well, um, if, I, if I look at it, it can become, I can see it becoming sort of a, f a much longer way away um, and it's like looking at sort of, I don't know, mountain peaks or something. It's lovely actually. There's a feeling of ease in my body, right. of, of complete um, sort of floppiness and not, not necessarily having to, um, of, of it being okay for me to sort of lose control in the sense of, of not having complete motor control, not being as steady as I was. Yeah. Um, and I'm quite aware that I'm probably not quite as steady as I was. We were particularly interested to know if Sean's experience bore any relation to the recorded effects of the plants among the Mazatec Indians particularly its spiritual associations. Did he think of God at all? No. Not at all? I didn't, know. no. Um, if, however, I would... I've no doubt at all that if I was... If I, if I had that framework with which to work, I would have thought Eventually of those things. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was actually thinking of, of um, things like uh, Whistler paintings. I was, I was actually oh. think, thinking of things in terms of, of, of 
the paintings I've seen and the, the, the films I've seen and, as I say, you know, um, visual images that I'm, I'm familiar with. Well, obviously the setting was rather artificial by comparison with some of the ethnographic uh, circumstances we were talking about. But I thought that brought out very well just what you were saying about the character of the plant. Yes. This very gentle uh, effect that it has, just sort of euphoric. extending. Yes, first of all euphoric, uh, and then, in a sense, encouraging perceptions. Not, not Certainly not causing hallucinations and not causing unreal perceptions, but just encouraging the mind to, to see the fantasy of things around it. That's is is, right. is that how you found it? Yes, and also allowing the taker to remain in control about mm -hmm. going into the experience yes. or remaining on, on yes. the edge of it yes. and uh, playing with it. Yes, Fas wasn't it fascinating the way in which he was deciding whether to stop and think about it or else to talk about it and to, and to explain it and just teetering on the edge there between, yes. between making it a private experience and keeping his uh, ability to explain things. And giggling at the same time. giggling at the same time. But he, he really did give a very, very coherent and yes. highly articulate account. Yes. And yet, his impression was that, that he you was know, he was being incoherent and, and yet he was. He was yes. giving a, a beautiful exposition. I thought that was very interesting. Very um, interesting. It's quite nice that the EEG results gave us quite positive negative results, as it were. No, there was indeed. absolutely no effect on the, the brain, as far as we could tell, with the EEG. No, indeed. And uh, that is significant. Um, with regard to the uh, physical tests, it was the uh, blood pressure and pulse and so on. Quite different. There was an effect, but it's very variable. I mean, yeah. in one, in, one uh, in the first subject, uh, there seemed to be peripheral shutdown. Temperature went up. Uh, blood pressure went up. But with the second, although we didn't measure blood pressure, there's no doubt his periphery became quite warm. Mm. His pulse actually remained, if anything, it came down. So it may be the initial state of the patient that's important. Or the yeah. As dusk fell, Sean joined Don and Tim in the woods, where he and Daniel would later consume the plant for a second time. They would be exposed to more subjective tests of mood and perception. But as with the tests earlier in the day, it was important to get a comparative description before oh, the plant was taken. Visual information. So what I'd like from you is some sort of view of the what you're seeing at the moment and what right. you feel about what you see. Sure. And probably a good example is the tree here, which um, has got a number of colours and things on it, and just some idea from you what you feel about it and what, what you see. Well, um, obviously it's um, pretty rough texture-wise, but sort of um, scaly sort of green mossy streak running down this side sort of um i don't know whether this must be north or something it's silver birch i think isn't it i think so yeah, yeah. Right. it looks like the one to me good tree <laughs> This time, the setting for taking the salvia was more like that of the private ceremonies of the Mazatec Indians. Daniel carried out a traditional ritual, marking out sacred space. And this time, the method of ingestion was also traditional, chewing the leaves of the plant. Using this method, the active compound in the plant was absorbed more slowly. The experience was likely to be longer, but more elusive. 